Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Here is the big geekier box. Now there was two boxes sold. This is the bigger geekier box. You can see all the different factions on the side here or on the front. They're going to look at the side. Now this thing is thick as thick can be and it's really 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 big it shows you kind of what's going to come back here you're going to get the all-stars faction that will be in here and you'll get the geek faction which has been available before um so let's open this up now i'm going to show you what it looks like with cards in a few minutes but for now i'll just show you this so what you're going to have is a comprehensive rule book this is going to have all the factions up to this point put in here, all the cards and all the rule stuff. Now anything printed after this obviously won't be in here. You're going to have a little section right here that you can put all your tokens in, etc. It's a nice little tray. And I'll show you what it looks like all filled up. And you're going to have here, this will come out. And then you'll have a place for all of the cards. The box is going to come with dividers for everything if you don't have it. And then there is the all-star faction that will be included in this one. I'm not going to showcase all of these, but this will just be the dividers that will come for all of these. They're nice, real hard plastic. There is one for the bases, sheep smash up, the geeks, etc. These are very, very, very nice. And here is the all stars that you're going to have in it. So the Servitor of Cthulhu, uh, you're going to have a fan, sprout, enzyme, pucks. These are going to be like the best of the best from the other sets, which is kind of cool, but they're all playing basketball, as you can see. Begin the summoning. It's astounding. Full moon. Oh, that's cool with the the um, werewolves. I like the werewolves. Friendship power. So this is going to be different ones from all the different sets. That's really really cool that they kind of put them all in one set. You're going to get some additional bases, the locker room, and the stadium that you'll see here, and then the geek. Now the geeks have already come out before they've been released, but here they are being re-released again. This is back when. Um, Will Wheaton was big, Felicia Day was really big about getting these out, a lot of games had them in it, cosplay. So this is going to be the geek um, spectrum you're going to have here. Once again, that one's been released. I don't think the All-Star has, but this one has been released before. Which I have. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like when it's all so set up. So this is what my copy looks like once I have it all set up. So these will have all the tokens. There's little indentions here for the fives, and then you have the ones that come through. There is some room for growth. I believe I have everything for Smash Up, so there is some room for growth. I don't know what to do with this, and that's just a space saver. I put all the rule books, even though I have uh, the main rule book that encompasses everything, I have some stuff in here that, that isn't. It's like Marvel, Smash Up, and some few others. I just threw the rule books in here. I didn't have anything else to do with them, so why not? And this pulls out, and I have all the cards through here. So the way I set mine up was this is the bases, the madness, and I put in the munchkin stuff over here. So it's a little bit different on this side. This is everything up through Mythic Greeks, and then we start uh, Mythic Horses over here and back. Over here we have the Marvel set, and then I had doubles of these. For some reason they reprinted everything out for this box. These are all printed in the game already. This includes all of the extras, like the goblins, the sheep, etc., that you have in here. So there's plenty of room. As you can see, there's plenty of room for growth. So if they want to release more things, I definitely will have room. I think the box is pretty good. I can get in and out of here pretty quickly. It's deep, so sometimes it can be a little hard. You know, we're high up through here. We can see a little bit easier. Sitting at the table, this is kind of hard to see through because it's so. And then to put it back up. And there you have it, the bigger, geekier box. A good upgrade here, although some people won't want to spend the money on this just to have a box, but it does make the organization a little bit better having all those small boxes. I think the box is very pretty. It has all the different factions and stuff on it. It's good. If, if you want to uh, blow some money on this and do the upgrade, here you are.